Hi, this is first part of a multi-part video where we are going to build a AI based security system. So what we are going to do is we are going to build a AI security uh, camera that can detect objects in the camera and then identify uh, the person whether he is an authorized person to enter the premises or he is not authorized. If it's not authorized, then basically we can record the activity that that person is doing. And we are going to build this all from scratch. And for this purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an uh, camera that supports RTSP. Now RTSP is real time streaming protocol It's an application level network communication system that transfers real time multimedia. When I say real time multimedia, it can be video or audio images uh, to any kind of endpoints. It can be an uh, it can be kind of an uh, endpoint that can support RTSP streaming or it can be even like languages like Python, Java or other languages that supports this RTSP stream. Now this is a wireless protocol and the second part is we are going to use Python in our videos to code from this camera. So one of the camera that I am using this is a wise cam that is available on Amazon. Uh, there are multiple versions of this camera that is a wise pan cam and wise cam 2 and wise cam 3. Cam 3 is the new one and you need to make sure that camera supports RTSP protocol. Now, a lot of camera may support RTSP protocol, but typically the camera provider do not advertise it. The reason is they typically charge for all this AI security system as a monthly subscription fee. And uh, you can, after implementing this, you can do away with the uh, subscription fee that you typically pay to them. Uh, some of the cameras do not support. So if you are buying a camera that does not support, then you cannot run any of this program. So make sure that supports RTSP and you can use the RTSP RTSP stream. In the wise cam, the version 2 supports RTSP stream and the pan cam supports, but the version 3 that is a newer version that is coming into the market is not yet supported uh, the RTSP protocol. Right? So make sure the camera that you buy supports RTSP protocol. And once you have the camera, next is uh, in some camera RTSP be there, there by default. In some camera, you need to manually go and update the firmware to run the RTSP version. In Wisecam, if you go to the Wisecam website and search for RTSP, they have steps where you need to download and uh, firmware. And that is if you see on the back of this particular uh, camera, in the bottom of the camera, there's a SD card chip. So what you need to do is you need to copy that firmware into this SD card chip and then you can uh, you just have to reboot it uh, by doing a reset over reset in the reset button over here. And once you do it, it will start it with the firmware. Just make sure the SD card you are using is FAT32 formatted. Uh, if it's not FAT32 formatted, then you may have issues uh, configuring the firmware. And once you are done with the configuration, right, you can go to the camera application. Uh, in the case of Wisecam, there's a Wisecam app available in the Android store and the iOS store. So this is how it uh, looks like. Uh, I am, let me configure the camera properly. So what you can do is this is how it looks like. Uh, what you can do in this case is basically you can go to the settings and go to advanced settings and then once you go to advanced settings if you uh, scroll down to the bottom part you will see something called RTSP which is here. Once I click on this RTSP you will find an RTSP URL. This URL is required to be uh, this copy down this URL so that we can use this URL in the Python program. Now this is uh, this camera is configured to the wireless router what I am connected to. So may I, so basically it's a uh, security camera which will be within your network. So the camera will be connected to wireless network. Your application is already connected to the same network or your laptop internet is connected to the same network. You can directly access the RTSP stream. There are two types of camera again. One is the uh, indoor camera. So if you want to uh, develop an home security system if somebody enters the premise and you want to monitor it you can use the indoor camera or you can buy an external camera while this camera can be used external as well not ideal uh, this camera is not created for that but you can use an external camera and you can uh, use it for this purpose this are completely high resolution camera so it will if you are recording it 
then it will record and use a lot of your space. So I'm also going to show how you can record only key events rather than recording everything. You don't want to really fill up your art disk so soon, right? So uh, just remember this. Now, once you have the RTSP URL that you saw, I will show you how you can test it quickly with your typical media player. So basically, um, what I'm going to do is this your uh, VLC player. You can use any uh, streaming media player. Now, once I have the RTSP URL, I can go and create a new stream over here. Or if you are on a Windows or Mac OS version of the uh, Mac OS version, then you can see on the top file network. If you click on that, when it, uh, you will get an uh, URL to type over here. And what you can do is uh, copy the URL that you saw in your mobile phone. I have just copied this over here. Here. Uh, it says RTSP, the username and password that you give. You want to make sure that you give a username password so that only you know it, you secure it, and then the internal IP address that the router assigns and slash live. So this is the URL that was there. And once I say, once I click over here, where you can see basically it takes me uh, to the uh, VLC screen and uh, basically my image is captured in real time. And this is what I'm going to do. The image that I captured in real time, basically I'm going to take it and then I'm going to uh, do analyze this particular image. Uh, thank you very much.